All right, look, if you've ever met someone who uses Arch and didn't bring it up in the first five seconds, congrats, you met a ghost. This video is about the many types of Arch users, the good, the cursed, and the ones who think high thigh socks and a transparent terminal can fix emotional trauma. We're going full send with this one. While you're here, hack the YouTube algorithm for me. Drop a like, sub if you've ever broken your system with one bad Pac-Man command. Let's get into it. First, I use Arch by the way guy. Every friend group has that one guy who could be at a funeral, and somehow he'll still find a way to say, by the way I use Arch, like it's the solution to grief. You ask him how his day is going, and you get a full breakdown of his Pac-Man logs. He genuinely believes using Arch makes him smarter than you, even though he just copied a script off Reddit and prays it doesn't break with every update. Second, the unfinished ricer. You open his desktop screenshot, and it looks like the inside of a Tumblr fever dream. Half transparency, half broken font, and a wallpaper that's been resized more times than a meme from 2012. His rice is never finished. He's been tweaking his i3 configs since 2020 and still can't decide between Grovebox and Dracula. Third, the Terminal Monk. This guy uninstalled his file manager and replaced it with Ranger just to feel something. He watches movies using MPV inside the terminal, controls volume through Alsa Mixer, and reads his email in Mutt like it's 1999. Even his calendar is ASCII art. He says it's minimalist and efficient, but it takes him 12 keystrokes to open a PNG. Honestly, he spends more time typing commands than doing anything productive, but in his mind, he's one Vim macro away from Nirvana. Fourth, the hacker femboy. His terminal glows in pastel pink, the cursor sparkles, and every keystroke sounds like a gentle anime, NYA. Don't let the aesthetic fool you. He runs more VMs than your data center and probably reverse engineered your Wi-Fi password mid-conversation. He uses Arch because it's cute but powerful, which coincidentally is how he describes himself. You look at his rice and it feels like Tokyo at 2 a.m., a chaotic blend of Sakura petals and shell scripts that may or may not be mining crypto in the background. Fifth, the Arch Wiki cultist. He doesn't talk, he sends links. You could say, my wallpaper won't load, and this guy hits you with a 40-page ArchWiki guide, five stack overflow threads, and a PDF in German. He treats the ArchWiki like scripture and expects you to read every word before asking another question. You could be drowning, and instead of throwing you a rope, he'd send you a man page and tell you to RTFM. Sixth, I break it for fun guy. This guy doesn't want stability. He lives for chaos. He'll edit his grub config, remove systemed, and restart just to see what explodes. When his system breaks, he doesn't panic. He grabs snacks and enjoys the ride. He's nuked his bootloader more times than he's taken showers this week. Fixing problems he created is his idea of fun. He's like that one kid who broke his toys on purpose, except now the toy is Linux and the damage is permanent. Last, the digital hoarder. This man has six desktop environments, 10 window managers, and more terminal emulators than brain cells. You open his config folder, and it's a crime scene. Half of his tools are installed via Pac-Man, the other half from the AUR. And the rest? He doesn't even remember. Anyway, if you've made it this far without aliasing RMRF slash to your enter key, first of all, proud of you. Second, if you're even slightly curious about getting into cybersecurity, or just want to know how to hack legally, I've put together a beginner-friendly guide that actually makes sense. No boring fluff, just the good stuff. The link's in the description. Check it out.